We will connect the yeah. age. Only the story of what is good. I want the world to be great. Don't let the fear steal your peace, no. Don't let the fear steal your peace. Hi, it's me, Christina Picas, and coming to you again from my lovely uh, breakfast nook. And I just have to laugh because um, where other people might do four different types of contouring and different layers of makeup, here you have me um, back from the pool, but at least this time I took a shower, so feel lucky. Anyway, I have a small um, haul. I'm making a new bathing suit for myself and for my daughter, and um, so I'll go through what I got. So first I went to So Sassy, and I kind of stocked up on some things. Their shipping is pretty good, but um, it's still one of those things where it makes sense to buy a bunch of things at once if you can. Um, so one thing I needed, um, so my daughter is using um, a pink with white stripe, um, swim that we got from G Street a few years ago and I've been saving for her and um, so we decided to make um, or she picked out a suit and then I uh, matched it to the green style cami and um, I want to talk a little bit after I get it done I'm assuming it fits her about some of the changes I made um, for a little girl's body wearing uh, women's sizes um, you would think there would be a lot about that um, but it usually it's tall girls. Anyway, um, so one thing I got for that was um, some three quarter, and for mine as well, three quarter inch um, swim elastic. So this is uh, like 229 in the store a yard, and I got um, I ended up getting 10 yards because you know it, one thing is it doesn't really go bad. I guess rot, it could dry rot because it's rubber. Um, but also, like if you think about it, you know I need. You know, at least a yard from for um, underneath my bust and we were using it for her straps and things like that um, and also waistband um, for hers so um, yeah I mean you can just see you know, already going through a bunch so that was a um, dollar a yard when you get 10 10 yard pack um, I got some preformed some cups I didn't think they were that great a deal they were like 3.98 I don't know if the size is right. I just saw that Michelle um, uh, on Instagram, Michelle Sews, um, she did the whole sister sizing thing too, and she was pleased with what she got. So hopefully, I also tried to do the sister sizing thing, and hopefully it's also going to work for me. Um, I got some rubber swim elastic. Um, I saw TaylorMade um, had a um, really fascinating uh, making of bikini using this stuff and um, they didn't have quarter inch of the regular. I already had some three eighths from Wallach, um, but I think I needed three quarters. So, and I also got um, clear elastic, uh, two, 10 yards of each, one quarter and three eighths. I use this for everything. I use it in the waistband of all my leggings. I didn't for a couple leggings because they said I didn't need to and I regretted it. So now I just, just do it regardless. I don't stretch it or anything. I just put it, you know, one for one around the top seam of leggings and I find it's, it's very useful. And I'm going to do that on my swim suit that I'm making too. Um, and I use it for everything. I use it to stabilize things. Um, yeah, it's good to have around. Um, and I get it. I alternate getting it from like Sosasi or, or Wawak or whatever, I'm, wherever else I'm putting an order in. Um, S hooks for the swimsuit. They had metal in a couple different colors, and I wasn't sure because I need two. I'm doing the Laura top from five out of four, and I need two. And I had one left over from my last bathing suit. I was like, well, that's just awkward. So do I buy like two and then have one more left over, or you know, and then that would cost so much, and then or I could get ten for like two dollars. Two dollars and fifteen cents for oh I'm sorry it's a dozen, so that's what I did obviously because I'm a cheapskate. I also got um I asked on um Curvy Sewing Collective for like different ways to hold your suit top down. I was like oh no blousing's fine for me I love it. I'm like well you know what I like to swim underwater. I like to fool around with my kids, um, you know, dive for rings and jump in the pool and all kinds of different stuff. And my bathing suit now, and I'll try to include a picture, it stays put at the bus line. And that's very well fitted, and that doesn't move at all. So that's wonderful. 
but the bottom part like floats up and I really don't care if see people see my tummy I mean I don't care it's just that it's annoying because <laughs> it's like, like up around you know so and anyway um my sister has a Land's End suit and I was like let me see the construction I'm like pulling it off her um in any case it has like a power net like underneath part with like gripper like like silicone elastic around the bottom to say down and then the top is like a little bit more floaty but it doesn't matter what it does because the bottom is exactly where you put it so i don't know i don't want the control power kind of thing i mean i don't need that what i what i just want is the stupid and i don't want one piece either i just i I don't care if I could add infinite amount to my torso. I just do not want a one piece suit. So anyway, here we are. Um, I bought some uh, gripper elastic. Now this is not like pool type. Um, and it's different. It's not what I was expecting. I mean, I think it's exactly like it was described, but I guess I didn't know what I was getting yet. Anyway, so the idea is we might try this around the bottom of my swim top and the bottom of my daughter's. And we'll just see. And if it doesn't work, it's fine. I'll take the stitching out. So, um, also, I got, um, I had been buying three hook um, bra uh, back closures, and I had been buying, um, you know, just a quarter yard at a time, and I did that several times. This time I went ahead and got a half yard, um, three eye, yeah, you're not, oh, there you are, maybe you can see it there. Um, so, my Switch It Up um, bras from George and Ginger, and other things, I just substitute this in. Um, even places that don't normally have a back closure because I have uh, shoulders that like to dislocate themselves. And so having a way out of a sweaty, wet bra besides, you know, struggling with a tight band over bum shoulders is a good thing. So the last thing from, from So Sassy is I got some cut and sew bra foam. And I got, once again, quite a bit because, uh, I mean, it will last a while. But um, it's nice to have if I want to make another endurance bra or hopefully I'll get back into bras more often. And I don't want the padding part of it. I just want a little bit of the, um, yeah, um, modesty effect of having a slight padding there. <laughs> okay. So the other, um, the other thing that I ordered and then I got in was from um, Spandex by Yard. And... So I had ordered stuff for my sister for three um, shenanigans squirt, squirts, and um, I was very pleased with it. Um, I think the things, maybe the full price is like $12.99, but everything's almost always marked down to $10.40, and then you can sometimes get, like, spin a thing and get a sale, and you can earn points, and, and um, anyway, so it's pretty nice stuff. So I wanted to make myself a bathing suit. Um, I already mentioned that. And oh, there's so many different prints that I really, really like, but I am so pleased with what I got. It it's almost feels like a scuba. Maybe it is a scuba. I don't think it's supposed to be. Actually, it might be a scuba. Anyway, oh my gosh, super stretchy. Oh, the colors are so brilliant. You can't see this is a night, obviously, window. Um... But it's just super brilliant colors without being, it looks like it could almost be borderline obnoxious, but it's not. It's just really beautiful in person. And I'll try to get a picture after I make the swimsuit. So I got two yards of that. Um, I realize now that I probably, it was listed as something that could be for swim. It just says printed spandex. In any case, um, oh, and the print goes, you know, there's a pretty good border here, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, uh, I really like it. I don't know. I don't think it's going to white out. Um, no. Anyway, it's uh, so pretty. Um, so that'll be the top. And um, also maybe like the waistband. I'm going to make, oh, I'm going to make uh, pegs shorts for the bottom. And then um, some black nylon spandex to go with it. Now, granted, there were like 10 different nylon spandexes that were recommended for swimsuits. And the one that I had completely decided on, then all of a sudden there was no black. There was olive, there was navy, there was, you know, there were like 50 colors and there was no black. So I thought, well, I could call them and this and that. And so I just ended up with this one that they have, which I guess is FM60, FM65, um, nylon spandex trico mat. So it's also nice and thick. Um, I like to put like a little brief um underwear pattern kind of of a swim lining in the bottom just for mod 
modesty. Um, anyway, you know, just so it doesn't show kind of like gross detail. Um, yeah, so I got those. And I got uh, two yards of each of those. I, it says I need that for the top for Alara, but I'm really skeptical. And I also got um, some woven, um, some stretch woven um, poly poly spandex active twill four-way stretch heather look with dwr finish um two yards oh it's so nice it just feels it, it doesn't it feels almost cottony um it's not too heavy but it's not like thin anyway i got an olive and i really like that um so i don't i'm not sure exactly I either pace or moxies or just hiking shorts but i have five thousand of them and I actually got some white too, which I kind of regret now because it turns out that I did have enough pink to do everything, including the shorts and the band for the skirt for my daughter um, of the pink. And so the only thing I'm using the white for is the, uh, the straps for the um, green style cami tank. And um, I did have plenty of the higher quality white nylon spandex that I got from G Street to do that. I had you I had waited long enough to use that and so I made two or three pair of under um, skirt shorts out of it um, and I only had like 18 inches left but I mean you know we're talking about you know just a little bit of um, neck band so it turns out it was plenty so I don't know now I have this which is really nice it's also um, it's it's I don't know if it's squat proof but it's this um, Trico mat um, one yard so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But in any case, um, that's it. And i um, coming to you at night. Um, and I back to sewing because my daughter really wants to wear her new suit. And I'll see you soon. People can not create. Only the store what is good. All the world be great. Don't let fear steal your peace, no. Don't let the fear steal your peace.